Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy Nihid, back to watch for Stargate SG-1. This is the Season 3 premiere, Episode 1. I'm excited. Last we left off, we were on Hathor. We basically met up with Hathor again. Um, she is, uh, best way to put it, is, is trying to kind of gain something back, I feel like. I, you know what I mean? Like, she's, she was studying us. The whole episode where we just kind of went back in time, what happened in Season 2. Trying to figure out all the accomplishments of SG-1 and... Try to figure out what she can use in her disposable to eh, disposable disposal to uh, I feel like become like a higher system lord or be more in tune with the Guaul man. We'll see where this goes. I mean the Guaul man, they ain't, they killing each other off. They remind me of the Vikings. Fucking they don't get along. They just kill each other off. You know system lords. But uh, let's get this thing going. Let's get it started. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate you. Love you, you guys. Know all the announcements. Comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notification. Uncuts early access on Patreon YouTube memberships. Um, Guys, if you guys are watching this on the Uncut, remember that I am watching this on uh, Amazon Prime now, so that is what I'm using. I apologize. I just found out, you know, actually, I, I, it's been a couple episodes now, but like, told me Dale, dude. He told me, Dale. Thank you, buddy. Uh, he basically was like, yo, 16 by 9. Get, get, get on it, dude. What are, you, what are you doing? What are you doing, bro? And I'm like, thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's do it. Thank you so much, you all, for watching with me. It's a pleasure. I'm... Definitely thinking about expanding my my sci-fi, uh, you know, shows here soon. Right now, I'm just trying to figure out what is best for myself and what, what I'm doing good at. Uh, I really do feel like the sci-fi family really enjoys my input, so I think I'm gonna do a lot more of these, man. I'm, I'm really enjoying the sci-fi for real. Like, it doesn't get many views, but I, I, the engagement again is what matters to me so much. So, we'll see. I'm thinking about maybe starting Farscape. We'll see. I'm thinking, I was thinking about that last night. I was like, hey, maybe I should watch Farscape. I was watching like a good preview about it, and I was like, yeah, this seems really interesting. I'm like, well, I might do this. This sounds awesome. I bet I didn't know you guys to wait this long for the conclusion whenever it came out live and shit. It would to me, bro. I would be like, what? I thought it concluded at, at the season finale. They've been taken prisoner, sir. By Hathor. Shit, here we go. Toke Rob, man, they always helping us out. Love it. Take a piss. They have someone on the inside. Why can't they do something? They did do something, Major. Yeah. You have the coordinates? Yes, sir. They My did something big. Well. Yes, sir. Do you intend to commit the resources of this entire command? I only wish we could. Nearly half of our teams are off world right now. That's how important SG1 is. SG1. The valuable asset. Get the still just one team. Dude, you don't know what that one team has done. Major, you've got a lot to learn about how we do things around here. I have the president for you, sir. <laughs> I love it. Love it. I mean, in all reality, I think Hammond would do this for any of his teams. He doesn't give a fuck. He's like, no, we're getting them back. So I would like all of those willing to attempt the rescue of SG-1 to take one step. There we go. <laughs> let's do it. Yes, sir. All right, let's go. Let's do this. <laughs> They're bringing in all the guns. These are like four fucking elite teams just going in. Do you not remember the joys between one shit and one Shit, I would remember the fuck out of it. Really try not to. It seems that our friend has chosen. Yeah, yeah, man. The fuck? He's just trying to find a way out of this shit. He's like, fuck you, dude. Not in the back of the neck. I've got some problems. Oh, it's gone. Smart move. I thought he would be like searching off, but I was wrong. Ray Tack. Man, it's like really dark, dude. What the fuck? It's like a Game of Thrones episode. It's fucked with you guys. But it is rather dark. What of your human friends? Prisoners of gold. I have come to raise an army with which to free them. Oh, uh, never mind. There we go. That will not be so easy, Jack. Well, he gonna fit. I mean, at least he, like, I was kind of right. I, fig I figured he wouldn't sit around and be like, no, they're not, I'm not going to just not go after him. You will have no say in the matter. You will witness their deaths through your own eyes. What a bitch. That is... 
evilish, evil, evil ass like fucking plans and then. Uh, what the fuck? No, 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 no. Are you serious? Something happened. Oh no! Oh fuck! Wow, our folks is. Oh, that's the person inside the Tokra. She's the spy. You must find it. I am Tokra, but until then, you must find it. Damn! Hell yeah, dude! Fuck yeah, that's sick. That's so sick. I was like, why is she looking at him so suspiciously? I was like, she's got her. Okay, yeah, fuck. This is. Let's go, let's go, let's go. No, let's not hurt anybody. No, we can't have any deaths. Our folks are killing it, though. Man, our folks are going in. They're like, no, we get to get them. Where's Colonel O'Neill? He's been taken as a host. What? But we got good news though. We got Tokra. We got Tokra, fam. We, we good. Like, I hope we're fucking good. Oh. I'm of the Tokra. If the Tori do not destroy, you know this. We will. Yes. No! She was awesome! Hey, worry. You may tell your kinsmen that Tilk has returned to Tulak. You will go to every home of every warrior in this city. Summon them. Damn, bro, he got his words out right there. He was like, "Fuck you, no, you don't listen. We gonna listen here today." Good shit. No, oh, they got a barrier. Ooh, not good. What is holy shit? Oh shit. Damn, I don't know how people are gonna fucking die from this fucking mission. They did hold importance on fucking on Team SG1 and people are dying. Is there a bomb up there? Like grenade? It's like a slaughter, dude. So bad. His folks are dying. That's worth a try. Damn, how did they lose? They have. Well, I guess we can't go under it either. The power output for something like this must be enormous. Now what do we do? This is a predicament. I wonder if they fucking lost in this mission. Six hours from now. Coordinate your offensive accordingly. Roger that, sir. Damn. This is getting dicey. Yeah, they're surrounded. All due respect, sir. You took a shot based on intelligence you believed to be trustworthy, but obviously... I promised reinforcement. The President and Joint Chiefs are simply unwilling to risk further loss of life, sir. Those are their orders. I understand that. Oh, so, because that's what I was like... Damn, he looks such, look like such a badass, bro. Fucking full on armor. He's like, what's up? I see cowardice. And I am ashamed. Chuck out here with that speech, it's boy. Speeches. Will not come again. I call for warriors to join me through the Chapai. To gather weapons. Before alliances with other Jaffa who seek freedom. <laughs> dude, he's so good, dude. You will join me. I would join him. Wow. I thought he'd have more people join him. That was such a good speech. Oh, shit. 
Not what I'd call an army, but it's a start. Oh man, he's going all out. Texas. Holy shit. Oh shit. This is so fucking badass. Let me tell you. Does that affect her? If she doesn't have a, I don't know what it does to her exactly. So bad. It's a bad box operation. People are dying. We just like you to go. She's gone. Just like that. God. That's at least a good thing. Cold. I'm a little chilly. But I'm me. I'm me. Hell yeah, dude. What an episode. What you seek is hidden within the mock up of your Stargate facility. What about you? My symbiote may yet heal me. You must hurry. Go. Man, the Toker have been such an amazing Boy, asset to question. us. Do you intend to fly this thing? Not I. Threading the needle is a skill for the young. <laughs> Let's do this. What do you think? Try it. Is that it? I asked if you use generator. That's a good place to hide it too. Whew, what an adventure so far. I'm just wondering how people we lost. This is gonna work. I don't know how he's gonna do the voice. Jaffa, Cree! Tell Michael, Kreetak. You heard me. I said Cree. Jack? Hey guys, beloved half or He's dead. <laughs> what you say is impossible. Maybe. But well, she's dead. I killed her myself. You should trust me on this. She's gone. She is no more. Oh, let's face it, she's a former queen. Ha! <laughs> Firing weapons will be your responsibility, Jim Hammond. Understood. Oh my god. He's like, this. he's, he's in the front seat of this shit. <laughs> this is fucking perfect. What an episode. Observe. He has to go right through the Stargate. Exactly. That thing is deadly. Oh man. They bought enough folks. Just enough. Oof. Nice. Oh my god, that was perfect! <laughs> that was beautiful, that was amazing! <laughs> How many folks died is what I want to know. There had to have been casualties, man. I saw some people's falls on the ground. Wow, he's like, what the fuck? What an episode. That shit was good. That was a damn good episode. Hell yeah, dude. Season 3, let's go. Fucking Hammond getting his hands dirty, too, on top of all this. Woo! This was a, that was a damn good episode. Damn good episode, guys. Damn, damn good episode. Uh, so, I, I, I'm... Did anybody die? Like, I'm trying to figure this out. Because, like, you know, it, it's one of those situations where it's like, did people die? Did people, you know, survive this whole situation? Because 
I mean, like, you just saw, like, a bunch of our troops getting fucking hit left and right. So, like, I'm trying to figure out, like, who survived, who didn't. Uh, a lot of things happened in this episode. Goodbye, Hathor. That's one big thing that happened. She came and she fucking went, you know? Uh, you know, I gotta say, him and... You know, it's one of those things, it's like, you know, I wonder, is it, like, is it considered favoritism or what, it, what... I mean, I'm sure Hammond would do this for the other teams. Like, if, for example, if SG3 or SG10 or anybody else got into a predicament, I'm pretty sure Hammond would send as many people as he could. But, like, for Team SG1, man, I do feel a little bit of a favoritism. Now, I don't know if that's, like, the best thing in his situation as being the leader, but, you know, SG1 is very valuable, though. Like, what SG1 has done for the, all of SGC is fucking ridiculous you know i'm talking we they thwarted single-handedly thwarted an on all an all an all, an, uh, an all out alien invasion on earth so their worth is a lot so i can see sending more people in but then it, it does put in this thing of favoritism and it it doesn't bode well for a lot of folks like that major you know as much as he was being a prick throughout the whole situation about like you know questioning him about sending all these people in He's right in a little way. It's like we can't have any more loss of life to save more people. Like if we send more of our folks to save more people and we have people dying in the frame of them sending more folks out, like is what we doing worth it at the end of the day? How many lives is worth another person's life? That's a huge question to ask. And I'm, I'm glad that they really did touch on that because that's what I was thinking. And of course, you know, if you're a member of SG, you're not going to give up. You're going to be like, no, I'm going to go after everybody, you know? Uh, Teal'c, uh, I gotta say, Teal'c's a badass. I'm very surprised at how it's going going down in his world. But then again, it is very, very hard to get out of a certain situation when you're, like, you know, if you're, if people are comfortable and they're happy in a certain situation and, like, the people that are allowing the comfort and whatever to happen are terrible and they're, uh, doing a lot of very not-so-great things in the background, you just don't know, but it's, but, like, you know what's happening, um, but you're comfortable with it. People tend to, like, stick with, with with that evil instead, I feel like. You know, it's like the people that, like, I mean, I hate to use this as an example, that, like, are in abusive relationships. You know what I mean? Like, they're in a relationship where it's, like, it's obviously really, really shit. But because of the comfort they have with each other and, like, just that evil that they know, they would rather stick with that than, like, try to get out and do something new. It's a, it's a, it's a common trait, I feel like, in a lot of human beings. You know what I mean? It's like a fight or flight thing. And uh, the folks in Chulak right now, like, they were happy under, I guess, for the most part, under Apophis, thinking he was a god, even though Apophis was literally enslaving them, using the Gwild in them, and harvesting them. Like, they, the, the people still saw him as a god because their lives were not too bad, right? Like, they were living their lives, they were, they were able to do things, and now, because of him being gone, they're worried about a bigger oppressor coming in and taking in and, and just just making their livelihoods a lot worse than it is probably because of the betrayal from like you know what happened with the poppets that's 100 percent understandable uh but i wish some of these folks would change and just be like no we're not gonna let our fucking oppressors take us take us over uh like i said his 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 outcome of people that came to his army was kind of, was really short and i was surprised about that because i thought he did a great speech but it is what it is at the end of the day bro it's about the evil you know i guess not the you know what i mean for real i get it uh it was awesome to have the Tok'ra on board. I, I should have known that it was her because she was giving off those vibes for a little bit. But, yo, she saved... She saved I, I mean, from what I understand, she's probably going to survive and she saved fucking uh, Jack from becoming a fucking Gwaul, which was crazy. Uh, I love how the team works together, man. Great job on Carter figuring out that there's a generator that need to, they need to go take down. Like, that's fucking huge. Um, and all that craziness. Very big big ups to... Hammond and the Major, because the Major was straight up like, dude, like, I don't think we should be sending more people in to go die for, you know, listen, like, I get where he he came from, but Hammond, you know, like, he's he's Hammond, and I get, and I get where he's come from, too, on top of it, but Hammond took the other way around, man, he went in there and got his hands dirty for the team, which I gotta give high respect to, for real, like, even though that's not his job, his job as a general, he's far more important than sitting back and calling the shots, him being on the ground is such a detriment to the overall outcome of, like, the SGC, but, like, you know, in, in a way, it's, like, should I be praising him for doing what he did, or should I be going, dude, you shouldn't have done that, you know, because at the end of the day, he did, he shouldn't have left his post to go do that, in my opinion, but if he didn't do that, SG1 would, would be completely 
we, we they wouldn't have made it, you know, they wouldn't have made it. Uh, good episode, man. It, it just showed everybody getting their hands dirty, everybody fighting with the same cause. Alliances being formed, I feel like, you know, the Tokra, the Jaffa. Everybody's, like, honestly working together right now to defeat the Gua'ul. They, they understand that working together is better than not working, at, you know, working alone, best way to put it. Good episode, man. I'm, I'm excited for the new season, guys. I'm very, very stoked. I'm, I'm ready to get this one going. Uh, season three, here we go, baby. Let's do it. Thank you all for watching with me, man. I appreciate it. I love y'all. Uh, please always take care of yourself first, family. Take care of your favorites. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.